some more points here before the half. I don't know. I may or may not have seen him. If I had a, a description including what the person's wearing that I was looking for, it might help. But I may have seen him. I think he's wearing a cap. I don't know, Rusty. Well, I'm sure he's fine. All right, third down. We picked this first, get this first down here. We've got plenty of time with this offense to score. Another score before the half would be nice. And get the ball to start the second half. Yeah, it'd be 28 nothing if you can get seven out of both of those possessions. That'd be nice. Yeah. Look at me do the math. Right, George quick, Keeper. There's first. Gets the first to the 36. Man. 37. Jim yeah. George called his own number again. I'll tell you what, yards Next after. way up to the 37 yard line. One thing about it, you have time to think about what you want to say. First down. Huh? I said one thing about it, you have time to think about what you want to say. <laughs> but I was just going to say the yards after contact on that one, man. He, about, he got probably another eight yards after. He had a couple guys draped all over him. That's Walpole. Shifts, give is to Robbie, running behind Walpole on that right side. Tackle Man, for a loss. That's going to be a loss of about seven. Boy, I tell you what, I tell you on that one, they had blue shirts Bobby on the Robert ground all over the field. Fangman got planted. Robbie dropped. That was a good job by the Mustang defense that time. Yeah. Six yards on the play. That brings up second down. 16. Bunch coming up. Could it be him in the shorts and the hoodie? Could be. Looks like Would he, he wears shorts on a night where it's cold? I don't think he has pants. <laughs> uh oh. That's a bang, man. Oh, yeah. That might be a no, flag. That's a good block. Yeah, there's another one. Well, I don't know. I didn't look at this one, but I tell you right there, that's a good Thank block. He's in front of him. This first one's going to be on Hunter Juke, and they're going to call it a crackback block. Well, I, to me, it looked like he got in there, but the way the coaches are reacting, they didn't like the block, so so I stand corrected. There wasn't a change of direction, so they're going to say it's not a crackback. No, I, I think it's just going to call – I think they're going to call it block in the back. But if it's a block in the back, it wasn't because he's in front of his shoulder pads. He was pads in front of him, him, yeah. So let's see what the call is, and let's see if I'm just way off base here. Which that would he's going to get booed at no matter what anybody. it is, unless he waves off two flags. Oh, yeah, most of the crowd agrees Personal with me. Foul, side block. No, they're okay. I don't know that I agree with that one either. It was, uh, that's it, what I'm saying, there wasn't a, a change, change of direction. direction. So, yeah. it, it, to me, and, and again, the coaches, I'm sure we'll see it. At a function at some point, we'll explain where I'm off. But look like a good. I was actually already calling good block. It was a, it, it, it like was a, a great block. block. It was a good block. It looked like a good block to me. Second down. The problem was, well, the ref didn't like it. That's the first. And block the reason he didn't like it, it was a very effective, forceful. Well, hard it was, block. and he got depleted. Yep. And you know, flying through the air, I guess, just seemed like you shouldn't be able to do that, but. Puts him way behind the sticks, yeah. second and 20 plus. So we'll go, go straight up the middle again. Get six or seven back. What? Well, I think at this point, with the clock running inside of two minutes, yeah, that's, third, in the hoodie. that's what I thought. What? Uh, third and long, you just don't want to do anything third down and 16. silly here. Don't give them a chance to get the ball back with a chance to put points on the board. So I'm sure the. Coach is going to work the. Well, of course, the crowd's not. The crowd is not agreeing with me because they're ready to roll. <laughs> they want to score on the next play, and they need it called right now. But I'm saying, I don't know if you know this. I'm a little conservative by nature. You're going conservative. I'm going to go conservative right here. 
going to roll this out with stay the Bulls, bounds, Zane Robbie. Stay in bounds. Stay in bounds. Now, I would not have run out of bounds. I wouldn't have stopped the clock for him. Maybe it was probably picks up five yards. He gets up to the 36-yard line. Bring up fourth down and 11 for the Pirates. That was maybe. Natalia calls a timeout if you don't go out of bounds. Well, but you make yeah, him use it, well, though. Well, that's fine. Make you make him use it. Yeah. And don't give him three with the ball. What do you what do you tell Hunter Juke if you're a coach on that block to do something different? I don't know. It was, looked like there was a lot of information being shared from the coaches. <laughs> so, High so, punt. Bounce our way. Gonna hit at the 33. Roll, baby. And it's not it take much. Until it blows the whistle. Yeah. Leave it. Don't. No. Nope. There you Paul's go. Punt is down by the Pirates. Every the so the Mustang, Mustangs, Mustangs will have 53 to seconds to uh, this week are try to get some points on the board before half. Cross country meet. Here comes your cross, cross country, country update. Ryan Hoover plays first and will advance to the state cross country meet. That boy Wyatt. Wyatt's here, stand up, Wayne Wyatt. Let's give a big round of applause to him. Huh. And our girls cross country Got like eight team guys also plays waving. second overall at the meet and will also advance as a team to the state. Cross country team. Big round of applause for our boys and girls cross country teams. Announcing the, the cross country state qualifiers, Wyatt Hoover on the boys' side and the girls' team on the. Number 10, Matthew Bud brings down Riso in the backfield. Did I tell you the girls won in five? Yes. Okay. Riso dropped for a loss of three. And, yards. I, and I talked about it here. On air? Yes. Second oh, that's, down 13. That's embarrassing. <laughs> <laughs> that's not good. I was just going over stuff that was in your mind at the time. Yeah, yeah. My mind spacious over there on the opposite in the opposite press box. That used to, thing used to be jam packed. Oh, Remember I that? know it did. Hot. Oh, everybody has their own beat now. Couldn't the even pirates. move. The Pirates are going to call another timeout, so they're not no. going to go rusty style, and they're going to try to save time. Well, no, you don't go conservative. You're down. Twenty-five seconds left. Fourteen-point game is certainly a game that could go either way, but it's a little bit more breathing room than I knock on wood than I thought the Pirates would have at this point. Well, we definitely expected a close, hard fight, and I believe for the most part we have that. We've had two big plays by the Pirates that's been basically the difference in this game because those two drives were set up by, well, obviously first play of the game, you know, boom, you got Zane Robbie right up the gut for a touchdown. and then, But then you had some back and forth where they were getting us off the field. Our defense was playing good. So it was sort of a stalemate there in the middle part of the first half, and then Jude George gets that big run up the middle, sets us up, for the sets us up down deep, and uh, we were able to get it in. What? What's the matter? In there. Mushy. I'm, Riso's pass is in for number four, Nate Bonda. That pass is incomplete. I can't see it. T-ball picture. Football. T-ball. T-ball. Oh me? Oh nice. Well, hang on. I'll be down at halftime. One of our many fans is uh, is distracted me. Less. It, it happens. I mean, you can't even walk down post downtown post sometimes. Third thirteen. Give up the middle. He's got some room. He's met right. by the backers. You let him do that. Number three, Adrian. The thirty-five will be about three yards short of the first, but uh, more importantly, you only have. Eight seconds and counting. I believe everybody's probably going to go get some Gatorade. Yep, that's it. That's going to be half. That's the last play of the half. We're going to leave the cameras Scored on, and we'll leave a mic on, and you can enjoy both bands, and we'll be back after half time. First start timeout. Excuse me, Natalia, please place two seconds back on the game clock. Thank you. So yeah. Natalia called. A timeout with two seconds left. Folks, one more word about our cross country teams. I tell you what. You talk. Run all year long, all through town, multiple towns. That's it. What's she doing? She doing something. The faces, and they have put in a huge amount of work all year long. So, one more round of applause for both our boys and girls cross country teams. Coach McKinney. 
caught talking about a late timeout when the official has already declared halftime and then has to go, I stand corrected, there was a timeout. That's a late timeout. That is late. They're going to try to throw downfield, oh, down the seam. Hook and lateral. Watch the hook and lateral. And here it comes. Nope, this is going to be him. He's going to try it. He's going to be pushed out of bounds. That's the blind side block. That's a blind side block. Yeah. That'll get Coach Luna out on the field. Yeah, and he's yelling at Luna is going to make sure that we're going to call all of these tonight, including the ones that actually happened. <laughs> and then he's going to calm down and. Oh, just you and our buddies, man. We're, we, it's good cop, bad cop. You got the good cop over here, going. You know, I, I've been trying to tell him. He said no. Well, you just keep up the good work. I believe that's what he told him. During the run, personal foul, blind side block uh -huh. on the offense. Uh -huh. Then we just decline, that's halftime. You can decline a personal foul? I guess if you want to. <laughs> I mean, I've never seen anybody decline one, but it's halftime, let's go. What you gonna do, let them run another can't, play? I guess you can't run a, you can't end it on an offensive penalty, because then you could just commit penalties. Yeah, you just keep doing them. Yeah, oh, that's all sides. Let me let me try that again. Rather, or, rather uh, weird illegal motion. Legal motion. Yep. We're wandering here. Uh, all right, we'll turn it over to halftime. We'll be back here in the second half. Natalia Post. Presenting the state qualifying Natalia Mustang Band. The band is under the direction of Sergio Mendez, Vanessa Delgado, and Abraham Acevedo. The Mustang Band is under the field direction of drum majors Isaiah Santoya and Kate Robinson. Color guard captains are Liberty Gilkey and Gabby Munoz. Tonight's section of the week goes to our band aids. Thank you for all of your help this year. You guys rock. Tonight, we will be performing our UIL show entitled Untethered Angel. Selections include Descent, Remorse, and Untethered. Drum majors Isaiah Santoya and Kate Robinson, you may begin your performance.
Let's hear it for your Natalia Mustang Band. We would like to thank everyone for their kind attention. We would also like to thank our band officers and parents for all they do. This is unscripted, and I'll probably get in trouble later, but as the board president of Natalia ISD, we're looking forward to packing the dome with plenty of Mustang fans next Wednesday. Go band!
Rocky Chaspaw was released by English punk rock based band The Clash in 1982. The song peaked at number 8 on the U.S. Billboard Hot 100, making it their only top 10 single in the U.S. Take it away, man.
Fans, once again, don't forget to stop by, down by the Pirate Fan Shop, down by the concession stand. Load up on all your favorite Pirate gear. And just a reminder, we did find a rattlesnake out at the parking lot this evening, so please watch your step when you head back out to your car. Both teams have made it back onto the field. The Pirates will receive with a 14-point lead and try to add to it. Night's getting a little bit cooler. Yeah, it is. May have actually turned up the volume on the PA. Student section doing the uh 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 yep. oh whatever that is. The Seven Nation Army. Salvation Army. Yep. Onside kick. Fair Sorta. Catch called little, for little by Solansky and he'll take it at the 38. Solansky with the fair catch. Pirates will start from their own 39 yard line. Good job by the return team there, being aware. Watch for something tricky, which is how you came out with. They were ready for it. Starting with good field position to get this second half going. That's where I was going, trick plays. I think we're seeing him either side, either offense. Uh, Certainly an well, Italian. We've always, we, yeah, we always seem to have a little something up our sleeve. There's Bun. Here's a trick play. Look out. I'm gonna run, run over. Up the middle. And then I'm going to run over the safety. He was down. He was down. Yep. Yeah, he's down. So he lost the ball at the end. He's been ruled down. It's a first down Pirates. In Mustang territory. He said what I'm thinking. From the Mustang 44 yard line. I don't like that he's limping, though. Number seven, Christopher Saldano. He seems to be favoring, favoring that left side a little bit. Yeah, that's your running back and also your starting linebacker on the other side. We yeah. need him. No, we definitely do. Probably. We'll give it to him again. He wasn't limping that He's bad. Fine. There's Bun, and he pushes past a few people for a gain of six. Matthew Bun again, the ball carrier. He's tackled by number 24, Manuel Garcia. Well, good. A couple five yards on the play. Second down and five. The Pirates from the Mustang 39 yard line. Well, the Pirates starting off this half exactly like they started off the first half. Well, maybe not exactly, but certainly. Can't say we're moving the ball. Exactly like, not exactly. No, nah, not exactly like. That was one play, one score. That was a poor choice of words. Uh -oh, oh, that's short a little floater. Oh, short pass as he throws that. So it's going to come up short. George Thankfully, hits the turf. Molina, that pass is incomplete. That brings up third down and five. Not sure if everybody wasn't on the same page there. And it was uh, something designed to be a comeback or something, or if he just didn't quite get enough on that. Uh, I don't know. 
cubes. Cube dust. Keeper, George, has a gap. That's a first. Gets the first down. Spun oh, around. The ball came out. And the ball came out, and they're going to rule it the Talia Mustang ball. Boy, that, that sure looked like his forward progress had stopped. The Talia's leaving the field, and they do. They have the ball. Turnover by the Pirates. First and 10 Mustangs. I saw that he had the first. I'll be the honest. I kind of. Well, I, I, saw quit. I looked away. I kind of quit watching the play. I, I glanced at the clock. I just, I thought he, we had the first. We were getting ready to reset it. I was looking at. Well, the Mustangs grabbed him. They, they were going after the ball in the first half, and he was spinning on the ground alone. Right. Mustangs try to go up the middle as well. Went for two yards. Just need the D to come up with a big stop here. Get them three and out, get them off the field. We'll get right back to business. Pick up a two yards on the play, second down and eight. Yeah, you can tell Jude's frustrated. He's down here by himself on the sidelines. Trying to shake that one off. Oh, that's going to be another tough. option. That's, hey, get it's that the ball turf. Back. And the yeah, Pirates pick it. it up. Bumper recovered by number seven. Lena. That'll pick your spirits up, Jude. That a boy. Well, they just got nothing to be upset about Long to begin with. Recovered the football before going out of down. Yeah, he did. First down. We saw that recovery by Molina occurred at the 23 yard line. Now, Jude's having a great game. He doesn't even let one play get Plus in his head. 23. But as you said, that's exactly what you want from the defense. Pick your guys up, get them right back on the field. That started with sort of a shaky pitch and it went down from there. There's a late pull. There's Robbie. Surges forward for three. It's kind of a late pull Number two, on the read and then a pitch here. that he ain't caught. They ain't connected on a pitch yet. No, that one was high and behind him. Second down and eight. I think it was behind him. I know it was high. Without the advantage of replay here. Personal foul on 79. The flag down around the line of scrimmage. Because he just drove him into the ground. And maybe there was something else they saw, but. Personal foul, face mask. mask. Yep. 79 to the defense. Grab the distance to the goal, automatic first down. Well, they did call driving men in the ground, and I did not see the face mask, but, but the result is the same. favorite volleyball chance is broken out in the student session. Inside 10 minutes left of the third. Second possession of the half for the Pirates. That's fun. And when he can jump over somebody, he just go ahead, he just goes ahead and hits him. He absolutely does. I was just thinking if you're a defender Matthew makes his way up to the six yard line. He's one of those guys you, goal from the six. you don't want to see coming at you. Because he's not trying to get away from is looking for you. <laughs> and you can't get so low that he's not going no. to get you. No. Second goal from the six. It's George. Takes it himself. Into the end zone for a touchdown. Jude George with a six down, six yard touchdown run. Nicely done. Exchange turnovers and the Pirates put it in the end zone. Good start to the second half. 
Had the little miscue, but got it right back on D. I got distracted. I was watching the coach with Jude there as he was showing him something. It looked like maybe with his footwork, but that great play by Jude. Nice Spot run. City Beavers all over Agua Dulce, 54 to zero. Who? Agua Dulce. Okay. Nixon, Smiley, and Carson City in the third quarter, tied at 14. George West over Dilly, 20 to seven. Shiner up on Ganado, 42 to zero. <laughs> That's. Not much of a shocker there. That Shiner team is the real deal. So the Pirates. But Ganado's a good team. I mean, that's a good program too. This is their last game, but it's because their bye week is next week. So they'll have a week off before going into the playoffs the following week. Was not aware of that. We were off earlier in the uh, season, but that was a canceled game and not a bye week. We are supposed to play Corpus Christi London, I believe. I believe you're right. 21-0, 8-28 left in the third. Byron's going to kick the ball back to Natalia. Now is, Natalia's going to try to score for the first time of the night as they cross the Nowhere 20. Nowhere to go. Dances and looks for an opening that's not there. Four, Nate Bonner, the returner. Bonner's tackled down around the 24-yard line. First and 10, Natalia. Hey, what? This section. student section, I was just going to say, they are fired They're up They're on tonight. TV. Oh, that's why. Yeah. That's what's got them going. Yeah. Put a TV camera on somebody. Especially that student section. That's a rowdy crowd. High snap. Give us to Vasquez out of the backfield. It's going to be a gain of about three. A late oh, hit. I believe the called crowd called that one. Yeah. They were going to the ground as they went out of bounds. They did not take him out of bounds and then tackle him. But that the late flag seemed to come after the crowd and sideline reaction of Natalia. After the play, dead ball, personal foul, unnecessary roughness, late hit out of bounds, number nine in the defense, 15 yards added to the end of the run, automatic first down. It's going to go against Seth Trismala, the safety, late hit, personal foul. After the penalty, the midline of scrimmage is set at the 42-yard line. On a play that was a three-yard stop out of bounds, added an extra 15. Gets the Mustangs closer to midfield. Looking for the out, trying to go downfield on a double move. Ball's thrown out of bounds and incomplete. Resource pass intended for number four, Nate Bondo. I believe. That pass is incomplete. Up second down at 10. If the pass had not been overthrow, overthrown, we had a couple of defenders in the area that maybe had a chance to make a play on that one. That was well covered. That's Molina coming over from the safety yeah, position. Yeah, and De Hoyas, you know he can do it. He's and, a ball hawk. And De Hoyas had him, his man step for step the whole time coming out of the corner position. A couple sophomores at each corner, Solansky and De Hoyas. Second 10 for the Mustangs give. Bonda, good for two, third Number long five, coming up. Monteo, he's brought down by Seth Trismala after a pickup of two yards. That'll bring up third down and eight. Well, that's a nice one-on-one -on -one tackle by Seth in the open field. Against the bigger uh, back. Yeah, and exactly. And with right. tail. Big back coming at you, yeah. Uh-oh. Risa rolls, that's four. Yes, sir. That's yes, Fuller to hit him. Goodbye. And Bond to pick 
gets it off and scores. And what I love is that Fuller was helping the quarterback up as everybody <laughs> ran by him. Well, that's, that's how we roll in post. We're courteous. There's no reason to be ugly about it. That quarterback had nothing but Fuller in his face. I'm telling you what, that was a one-two punch of Fuller and Bond, which we've seen many times on defense touchdown. on the same play where they're both getting there. The touchdown is good. During the play, sideline warning against Pope. That's their first. There is just warning, no penalty. So in celebration oh, of the dreaded uh, sideline warning. In celebration of as the entire yeah, bench yeah, helped Bunt run them. into the end zone. Yeah. They got a little well, too close. Well, that tends to get you a little, a little just a little excited. Now they've got a sideline coach here now. Get back, coach. That's Walpole tangled up at the end. Your smallest PAT is good. They had two Mustangs. Yeah, I think he, he could probably handle two. Kick is good. But they didn't give him a point. I just like it, though. I mean, he could be right in the yep, middle of the is. scrum just going at it and then just hops up and just heads off like, doo -doo -doo. We were, we were, We saw that little face at five years old. We were headed a picture here. There it is. Yep, yep. Yeah, that, at, at, at the half, I was handed uh, Les and I's first coaching gig here in Poe, the, the Poe Pirate, well, Poe Orioles in 2009, our t-ball team. And then some of the faces are down on that field tonight because seniors, hard to believe. Aiden Walpole being one of them. Several others have graduated, yep. harder to believe. Well, our boys are off doing stellar work in college, hopefully. Haven't seen that first semester grade yet, but hopefully it's all going as well. So Pirates have opened this one up in the third here with a touchdown drive after two turnovers, a fumble and an interception. The Mustangs have a big hole. That's a hold. There's Rogers. They got away with First step back there. Here comes Seth Drismala that pushes it out of bounds. There's the flag. Caleb Rogers was being held. His jersey was being pulled off his shoulder pads. There is no flag on the play. Oh, I, First down. There was a flag. Oh, I beg to differ. Yeah. I saw it fly there through the air. There was a flag. Yeah. 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 And, uh, and I would even make the counter argument that there actually was a penalty on the play. You just didn't call it. out of the backfield, that's Vasquez. Number three, Good for a Vasquez. first. That was a nice run. A little hurdle. Got outside. Picked up the first down. First and ten Mustangs. And that just shows you, Natalia, despite the separation that Poth has put on the scoreboard, still playing hard. No hole, it bounces it out the left side. There's Trismala and Sanchez meeting. Eli Harris also in there. Oscar's brought down by number 22, Eli Harris. Number he, 75, Nick Sanchez. He did a nice. No play, second down and 10. I thought I had his rhythm down. He did a nice job of reversing his field there and headed the other way. Just both defense did a good job of closing in quickly. Yeah, Jusmal is fast back there to say Jusmal. Eli Harris is a backup running back as well. He's fast. Yep. You're not going to get away from those two. Right. And Nick Sanchez it looked like also he, there as well. It definitely looked like he had an opening there for half a second once he reversed field. Jusmal brings down Winteo from the 47-yard line. Second down and 10. So that was third. Up this will bring up. Third down and six. Oh, that was second. That will bring up third down and 
46. They need to get to the Pirate 47. Five fifty-three left in the third. Cuts it up the middle. He's gonna be shy of the first down by about two or two yards. Going to bring up fourth and two. Another nice little slash run inside. Up and up. Brings up fourth down and one for the Mustangs. So obviously this is four down territory for the Mustangs. Quinteo leaves with a slight limp for the Mustangs. He's been carrying a lot of the load for that offense. Flag down. He's real, real close to the first down. I think he's, he stopped short. See what the flag says. I think he may actually be a little short yep. based on the mark. But they let him. He spotted the ball himself. <laughs> well, if he spotted himself short. No, he spotted him a little bit extra. Yeah. What was he doing messing with the ball? That's a penalty as well. Well, you would always scoot it a little bit in the huddle if, when they were in the huddle in the backyard. Just kind of take your foot. Just Delay a game. Disconcerting signals on the defense, number 42. Five-yard penalty from the previous spot, first down. Wow. So, so the Pirates were called for being disconcerting. That's they good. heard this. They heard that in college football. It's a big hot thing, so they wanted to call it themselves. That's huh. the only thing. There's all kinds of disconcerting things going on here tonight, and we're but we're making signals. it work. That speaker's disconcerting. Which is, which is. The ball is going to be spotted at the 43-yard line. And first and ten Mustangs. Good trying to, gracious. Trying to catch him snapping the ball, either clapping it, or barking. Well, it's not like they jumped or anything. That just seems kind of silly. There you go. That's now, how disconcerting tackle. was that? That's Fuller, Sanchez, and Walpole. Walpole was disconcerting. <laughs> Loss of a yard on the play will bring up second down and 11. a has been called with that twice in the same game this year. Disconcerting signals. Second are they, and 11. Are they doing anything? Clapping. Uh, well, I think I saw that one. I, I remember the one you're talking about. Riso with the keeper. Gain of eight. Gain of nine would be... Three short. Well, it's not golf unless the guys are over there going hut. I mean, I don't get that. <coughs> Man, what this help? We're just getting soft. Softer. Oh, that's a dumb penalty. Do away with that one. Run up the middle is good for a first down inside the 30 of the Pirates. Things are starting to get a little chippy after the whistle. We're starting to see a little bit more of that. Parker makes his way down to the 28 yard line, moves the chains for the Mustangs, first and 10 from the Pirates 28. As we get later in the game, but meanwhile, Natalia is doing a really nice job of methodically moving this ball down the field. Against this with a solid defense. running game of four or five plays, a penalty here and there, which may or may not have occurred. That snap's gonna snap got him again. When tails back in the game, gets the carry. That's a gets wall pull. by number seventy-five, Nick Sanchez. Well, Sanchez was definitely there. Austin Eight was two. Second down at 13. Here comes Denson in for Nick Sanchez. That's a football player right there. I don't like him talking to Doc, though. He doesn't like talking to Doc. Good. We need you, big fella. He just needs a breather. He's fine. Pass. That's a nice pass. Complete to number one. He's got nobody in front of him. We'll walk into the end zone. That's David Silva. Well, just an inside slant with a blocker. Crossing two, route two is right. And nobody left in the secondary once he caught it. 
And that pass was on the money. Timed well. Just a nice pitch and Garcia. Nice pitch and catch. Oh, oh, wow. I don't know how he missed I it. Think, that like oh, man. I thought he missed it anyway. I don't know how we missed that. That ball had to have gone through his arms. 28-7, yeah. That's Molina. All right, so uh, ball control here needs to happen for the Pirate offense. It'd be nice to keep it on the ground and inbounds. And Absolutely. At this point, yeah. No, Natalia's found some momentum. They had a nice drive there for a, for a score. You definitely don't want to do anything like a turnover or anything like that. You want to make sure you're hanging on the ball, driving down the field. If you can eat up clock and then get points, all the better. Lena and Bun will go take the return duties for the Pirates. start for this drive for the Pirates, first and 10. I definitely think that was designed as an onside. He just didn't get that second big hop. They just sort of scooted, stayed on the ground. First and 10 Pirates from their own 37-yard line. Zane Robbie, nice four. Run. Nice pickup on first down. Way up to the 41 yard line to pick up a four that brings up second down and six. We'll take four yards to carry from here on out. All night long. And now you have a big opportunity for the Natalia defense. If they can get both off the field here and get the ball back, uh, this game could change in a hurry. First down would do you good. George looks to throw. Has a man he has to fend off. He gets rid of it. That'll bring up fourth down for the Pirates. Incomplete, bring up fourth down. Well, that, four. that was just a good pass rush by the Mustangs. Jude just didn't have time to do anything. Good of him to get rid of. Yeah, I was exactly. They, just get rid of the ball to not lose the yardage was a big play there. So Natalia did exactly what they need to do. You get the score, you come back out, you make both punt. And you might have blocked it, and they did. Or at least got a piece of it. it lands at the 45, was kicked from the 32. The punt does not go as far as the first down marker. Call it the 45. So it's a difference of about four yards. Well, I believe it. I, I think somebody got a hand on it. And that based, you look at that Natalia sideline right now, and that'll tell you all you need to know about where their head's at. 
They're fired up. So the Pope D needs to do what they do. Sanchez and the gang. Now, one problem Natalia's going to have, that last drive did eat a lot of clock that they have. So, with the way they took the ball they down the field, it was a nice drive. And, of course, the touchdown Six play was was a big play, but they used up a lot of clock. And, and here they are in this situation. They're going to find themselves in. They're going to need chunk plays where they're moving the ball in a hurry because we're getting ready. This is probably the last play of the third quarter. Second and nine. First and down. There you go. And more. And right on cue, they did it. Number nine, Seth Drew's Paula tackles bonded down. The 26-yard line. That inside power running of Natalia right now is very effective. Four yards, second down and six. So to be That's second six in the third quarter. as we end the third quarter. And uh, Mustangs are on the move. <clears throat> Somebody else is on the move. It's Laurie Miller all over the place. She's one of tonight's broadcast sponsors along with Lester West. Carlton Poppy and an anonymous donor. They're part of the Grandparent Challenge and all donated on behalf of their grandkids that attend both schools. And we thank all the contributors and sponsors of the broadcast, their individual broadcasts and individual sponsors for each broadcast. It's not the diamond level or the regular uh, both athletic donors. Uh, and so if you're interested, Playoffs are coming near, and you want to see some pirate football playoff. Pirate playoff football on TV at your house. Then uh, get somebody together and help sponsor. Call Athletic Booster Club or email them at postathleticboosters at gmail.com. You can also find them on Facebook or Meta. They're taking it right at the Pirates. Third down and three. Inside. And this brings up third, very manageable. Nick Sanchez, Luke Rogers, Owen Fiatric across the front there. Not Owen Fiatric. Number three, Gabriel Solansky with the tackle. That's Franken Ramsinski. Makes his way down to the 14 yard line. Once again, another nice run. Picks up a first down for the Pirate 14 for Natalia. Rankin Ramzitsky was in there for Hunter Juke, and Hunter Juke checks in now. First and 10 from the 15. Bonda on the carry. Cuts it back across midfield and inside the 10. Gave about five. Well, this is set certainly more like the running game that we had heard about from Natalia that they've shown us these last couple of drives. And their ability to move the football against a very good defense. But now the Pirates just need to bow their necks here and not let them get in the end zone. 10.30 left in the game. Quick pass outside. After blocking the back. No penalties. Pass complete to number three, Adrian 
boss pit. Extra right. point away from making this a 14 point game. Oh, Uncle Mo has changed sidelines for the moment. Number 44, Manuel Garcia. No good. Oh, that might be big. No good, not even close. That PAT is unsuccessful with 10 minutes and 23 seconds left in the game. The score here, Jack Greenfield, Pirates 28, Mustangs 13. Talked about the broadcast sponsors, but the Booster Club would also like to thank all of their business sponsors and community volunteers that help in continuing the tradition of excellence in Pope Athletics. Diamond Level sponsors donated 2500 and with that they received large sign advertising on the back of the football scoreboard for two years and recognition on four live broadcasts. Diamond Level sponsors this year are NLS Truck and Trailer Accessories, Techstar Concrete, TKO Listings, Discovery Custom Homes and Urban Concrete. Thank you to the Diamond Level sponsors for the Booster Club. We need a Diamond Level defense to show back up. Yes, after we our do. We definitely seven. need to, to switch the, the flip the script here. I don't like how what this is going at the moment. And they're in that same formation for that little kick. There we go. We have good field position. Today, the cameraman says the score is getting disconcerting. It is disconcerting. We can add to the list of things that have been disconcerting here tonight. Ball be spotted at the Pirate 47 yard line. Just the answer we were looking for if you're pulling for the Pirates. Just come out nice run by Jude. Nice couple little cutbacks to his left. To the and then once he got open space, use that speed ten. to get down the sidelines. Nice run. Mustangs are arm tackling the football more than they are the Well, they're definitely the trying to strip the ball. You can see that for sure. And they've been successful at that at least one time tonight that I can think of. And maybe just the one. But at this point, you know, they're trying to get the ball back any way they can. Zane Robbie bounces it out, needs a block. He's not going to get it. He's thrown down to the five. Now, that's the penalty you Zane were talking Robbie about earlier. Bulldog down around the five yard line. He's second and goal for the Pirates from the five. Did he just say Bulldog the bull? Bulldog down. Huh. Making the six. The bull doesn't normally get Bulldog. Yeah, it was it was a semi suplex. Where was George at? Where's where he coming from? Yeah, he just came over here to get a signal. Get the play call. 9:30 left in the game. Yeah, and the Pirates don't need to be in a hurry at this point. But hang on to that ball. Second down. Keeper George. Like it. Touchdown George. Two George is in for a six-yard post Pirate touchdown. But that's the answer the Pirates needed. Natalia was, had all the momentum. They come back in at two scores in a row, back to back, getting Poth off the field. And then the Poth has a nice drive here to take it back to hopefully here a 22 point lead. Good. 35, 13, and Pirates. 9-19 left in the game. The only thing if you're gonna get nitpicky is that score too fast and don't give the defense that a big is, enough That is nitpicky. 
but I'll take it. I like the three uh, three score margin. Uh, I mean, so far from what we've seen from Natalia tonight, they can definitely move the football, but it it takes uh, time for them to do it. Guys, they just seem to come. It seems to go so fast these days. One minute, they're in seventh grade. The next day, you're congratulating them. Good kick. Just Mala pushes him Bomb. inside the five, catches it over his head, brings it out past the ten, looking for the right side and the sideline. Gets there, but he takes three Pirates with him. He tackled him out of the 30. That was a nice return. So setting them up with good field position. To start this drive. You would think Natalia's going to have to get a little bit more urgent in what they're doing as far as the time. Yeah, you know, nine minutes. They don't really have the luxury of a, of a grind it type drive and needing three scores, they're gonna have to get after it pretty quick, I believe. This may be where you see one of those trick plays you were talking about. If you've got something in your sleeve you've been saving, now might be the time to see if it works. Saving the sweep to the left, cuts it upfield. Or just stick to the solid running game, because that's working too. By number 42, it's good for four. six yards. Just up around the 36 yard line. Oh no. The pickup of six yards brings up second down and four. Oh, we don't need that. That is Nick Sanchez. Yes, it is. He says he he's says fine. He says he's good, but he's not he's good. Out for injury. It's a cramp, well, maybe? I, I'm hoping that's what it is. Like, get, hopefully, you get over he's, here and throw him he, on the ground and scratch it out. Yeah. I mean, he's putting weight on everything. But... Yep, that's what it does look like as a cramp. That's, that's what he's we in pain. He definitely Look and is. throw it downfield, covered by DeHoyas. Oh, my goodness. Intercepted by DeHoyas. My goodness Three gracious. Intercepted by number one, Aiden DeHoyas. That's a nice pass, but he was covered like a blanket and made a play on that ball. After the interception, the Pirates will take over from their own. 45-yard line, 35-yard line, first and 10. That's, that's huge. Those corners are really good. They South really are. In coverage, and they will come up and make the tackle. That's, I mean, yep. wow, both those guys. That's outstanding. I mean, you can't cover anybody any better than that. I, I didn't was, even see the receiver. No, he was behind him. <laughs> All you saw was blue jersey. But like I said, that, was, that ball wasn't underthrown or anything. That was a nice pass. He's just covered. But running full speed, looking back and make a nice catch like First that. First and ten, that's Fangman. And Stay in bounds. Easy. Hurdles a man. Wrap up the ball. Get out here, Fangman. Run, Go, buddy. Fangman. Oh, he gave a little juke. He did. Hang on. Oh, yes. Yeah. Fangman. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> no way I thought he was going to No get way. It. No. Two oh, different. Touchdown. Two different defenders had an angle on him, somewhere around the 25 or the 20, and looked like they were just gonna run him out of bounds. He gave a little shimmy, like he was gonna cut back against the grain. It was just enough of a hesitation by the defender. He goes right by him and then drags the guy into the end zone. That was awesome. Point is good. Eight minutes and 13 seconds left in the game. Well, 42 to 13. And Rusty, what were you saying about a tight contest this evening? Nylon. 
Not even do a lot of nylon wallet. That was a mesh covering. Well, describe it. What yeah, does it? it have a? Yeah, go ahead. What color is it? Make sure you describe it. We're, we're doing a little lost and found up here with a found wallet, and we're giving the description. So if somebody wants to come claim it, they should have all the information they need to, to get it. It's incumbent on the person that lost the wallet to describe it. Y'all are doing it wrong. Not it the has, game we it anticipated. Has $50 in it, two 20s, and a 10. But if you can tell us how much change. <laughs> oh, that's funny. No, I don't. I, well, I mean, you know, Natalia, they had gotten themselves back in the game. I mean, they really had. They had never quit. They're down 28 nothing. They came back, make it 28 14, had the momentum, but Poe just answered the challenge. And as such, uh, a lot of our friends from Natalia went ahead and started making that drive home. Get an early start. This one kicked halfway through the end zone. It'll be a touchback. See how much life the Mustangs have as the offense will take the field again. And that touchback will place the ball up at the Mustang 25 yard line. An undefeated district championship number six. Six. Looks, six. And it looks like it's a uh, good chance of happening. I believe I, I don't think I'd be too far out on the limb with saying we probably got this one. Mr. Conservative. I know. Yeah, I look twice and don't cross. Run good for seven. Number 21, Elijah Blanco makes his way up to the... This will be the... Mustang 30 yard line. 28th straight district three. game. One. And this will be the fifth straight. This is number five. This is number five. Okay. Cinco. Well, that's an impressive run. There's no doubt about it. Talk about and the line of scrimmage will bring up third down. Number three, ball carrier brought down by number 55, Owen Beatrice. And, and as you mentioned earlier, the both is looking to go further in the playoffs than okay, we have. Play third down and three. And you certainly like the way this team is playing right now heading into the playoffs. Run is good for first down. He's still going. Gets close to midfield, about the 47. 21, Elijah Bonta, the ball carrier. If you're looking for the He's offensive and Italian to quit or not. Yard line, first and 10 Mustangs from their own 47. Good hard run. Oh, that's another nice run. Vasquez. Vasquez tripped up by Gabriel Solansky. Second down and three. UIL will realign and change districts. Those will be announced in February. Next year will be a new district. Huh. Interesting. Yep. Based off of attendance. Attendance numbers were, were turned in today. High school attendance. UIL will take all that data and then realign all the classifications one through six. And then send us as far as they absolutely possibly can. <laughs> Say you get to play Brackettville. Boss gets tackled up around. Well, it is a different direction. Fresh center down for the Mustangs. First and ten. Six minutes on the clock. Either side at this point to see seems to be in a real big hurry. Bonda. Oh, Fuller. Oh, Trevor Fuller. Those two have met a couple times this evening. Fuller's letting him know about yeah. it too. Yep. Fuller tackles Bonda for a two-yard loss on the play. He's quick. He's relentless. He's strong. He's going to tackle you and then tell you about yeah, it. Yeah, it's just, it, he's everything you want in a linebacker. No doubt about it. 
And here he comes again. He's asking for a flag. Se 79 is letting him know this time, I got you, big fella. I may have had to hold you a little bit, but you didn't make that tackle. He's second down. Check that. It's going to bring third down and nine. Third down and nine to go. Ball spotted at the 40 yard line. Clock inside, five minutes. <laughs> there definitely seems to be some conversations going on. There's a lot. Yep. Does that body language seem to be? I'm sorry, what did you just say? Have you looked at the score? And Fuller's still talking. Yeah, he is. Well, I think it's, it seems to be mutual. They seem to be having, both sides seem to be having a good time. Pass incomplete, thrown behind the intended Silva. Fourth down and nine. Fourth down, fourth and nine. 421 on the clock. Rusty, we complete another regular season. Broadcasting season, get into the playoffs here. Fuller's, Fuller's not done this evening. There's gonna be a timeout called by Poth. <laughs> First charge timeout for the Pirates. Working on the prevent. Well, safety first. And again, we've had a black mesh. Black <laughs> mesh. Nylon. Nylon wall in the group. Yeah, yeah. Got a lanyard on it. It's been turned into press box. You're missing your wallet. I'm about to go claim it. Just I'm gonna stick my head down that 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 porthole there and say, hey, I got a black mesh wallet with a lanyard I'm missing. Well, Anybody we're find it? Both, we're all gonna say it as we go down, no matter what. Oh my goodness. Uh, yeah, I believe, well, I believe you got a wallet. Cat. He knows how much money's in there. He's not saying that part. That's the key to get it. You think? Well, I still got a decent chance. Oh, there's no money in it. There's no, there's no money in that. Doing the uh, Asi, Asi, Asi. Yes. Oi, oi, oi cheer. Yes. That's a new one. Yes. Is it new? Because I don't believe That's I've heard from that. From Australia. One. Well, I, yeah, I know that. I've heard it cheer before. I, no, I don't I've know. Never why heard I'm doing that. The band's Jack Oh! One. Reaches his hand in there to break up that pass. Turnover on downs. Pirate ball. All right. How about a nice little four minute, 15 second drive here? He can score three times in four minutes and 15 seconds. Oh, we could. First and 10 Pirates. We could definitely score three times. But we don't need to. Right now, the, the big thing we need to do is run clock and stay healthy. We've got this game in the bag. Let's just get everybody headed to the showers nice and healthy. And let's just eat this clock. One. Stay in bounds. Also, help run that clock. 408. Three yards will bring up second seven. There we go. Pick up the three yards for fun, brings up second down and seven. And now I wouldn't even come out of the huddle before 15 seconds. Well, they don't huddle, so why am I even talking about huddles? <laughs> I might as well be talking about leather helmets. Trevor Fuller. But well, there's would no reason still be to get up. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yes, he would. Uh, but and they are. They're running that play clock down to the very end, which that's just smart. Utilizing every second they can. Three, two. Perfect. Snap it with two seconds. That's left. perfect. Robbie's in there at quarterback. That Bunch should be enough. Around the 50-yard line. Yep. That's enough to move the chains. Bring up a fresh set of downs. Thank you. Start the clock. Thank you. First and 10 Pirates. First field. First down at the 50. 315 to play. Hunter Juke and Matthew Bunn will come out. Eli Harris is going to be back there. With Zane Robbie. We're going 
to show pass, pull it down, he slips no. on the turf. Runs for a first down. Slips and still gets the first down. Dane Robbie calls his own number, picks up a fresh set of downs for the Pirates. First and 10 Pirates from the Mustang 40 yard line. No, he's back up. 237. Correct, yeah. Well, we're getting a little glimpse of the future with Robbie at quarterback at this point. And I think the future looks bright. That's Eli Harris. Look at him running. Yes, sir. Hard. One of the seniors on this pirate team. Number 22, Eli Harris picks up three yards. Second down and seven. Nice way to go out against the also undefeated Natalia Mustangs in your last game here. Had Jack Lane as a pirate and just stomped them 42-13. Oh, it really is. I mean, this was a good football team that came in here tonight. They've had a good season. Poth always gets everybody's best shot. And when you can answer it like this and take a game that was starting to tighten up a little bit and just blow it out at the end. Robbie pulls it, keeps it himself, looks for the edge. He's not going to get it. Gain of one will bring up third and six. Zane Robbie for a one-yard gain. Third down and six. The Mustang, 36-yard line. 110 to play. SMU won. Nice. We looking at a SMU UCF showdown for the conference? I don't think so. I, don't think, I think we've lost too many. Pretty sure we've lost too many. Second charge timeout for the Pirates. It's, it's gotten louder. Or, or my ears have just been worn down. I thought you were talking about the timeout. Pirates call timeout, 42 seconds left. Oh, no, I would never question one of our coaches on one of their decisions. Except that, that one. <laughs> well, that one might be a little <laughs> shaky. But if you do, you might get yelled at at a Christmas party. Just throwing it out there, so you got to be careful. And not really yelled at, but straightened out, certainly, as to what the thinking was. And I'll tell you what he's doing and what the, what the timeout was for. Okay. Tell me. He's got every senior out there. Oh, how awesome is that? And once again, why are we questioning our coaches? Yep. That's perfect. All the seniors are out there. Robbie comes to the sidelines. That's outstanding. Yep. Walpole, Eli Harris, Jude George, Jaden Fangman, Hunter Juke, Nick Sanchez, Caleb Molina, Aiden Walpole, Caleb Rogers. I may Very say cool. a couple of them second time, but I want to make sure I get them all. And so they'll uh, six D on third down should be the next to the last play of the game. <laughs> he was going to say last play. So they're going to snap this one more time on fourth. They're going to let it go all the way down to maybe take the yeah, other. They're going to take a delay here. Yep. The refs just aren't calling it. The refs are going to give them an extra. 15 seconds and just call it good. The play clock has been at zero now for yeah, 15. No penalty, you're gonna yep. get an extra set and that'll be the last play of the game because they're not go. gonna call it to exactly like you said. And 42-13 is gonna be our final. Field. Pirates, 42, Mustangs, 13. Great Rocky job by the Pirates. Coming out this evening, be careful on your way back to your cars and be careful on your way home. We wanna thank the Athletic Booster today. Club for Happy weekend. Putting Thank together you. this link. And good night, this is Jack Lane Field. Sasha and Dave from Vipe would appreciate uh, the grandparent challenge and those sponsors for this evening, the Diamond Level sponsors. <coughs> My partner, Rusty, and Rusty, take us home on the undefeated district champion Pirates. Well, it's just been, it's the end of a great year that, that the Pirates have had and the 
the run continues as the district championships just start to stack up. That's five in a row. As you said, 28 district wins in a row, I believe you said 28. And uh, you had a good team coming in here tonight. Everybody was talking about this one all week, undefeated as well, the Natalia Mustangs, and big answer for the Pirates. So you're going into the playoffs, firing on all cylinders, got to feel good about your chances. So this was a big win for the Pirates tonight. Both bands will play to the team. Team will come to the sideline, acknowledge the fans, the cheerleaders. And we thank you guys as well for watching. Interested in sponsoring for the playoffs, give the Athletic Booster Club an email or a call. Contact them on Facebook if you need to. Thanks for watching.